Here I find myself, <clears throat> I'm controlling the character Sayuri, Sayuri, because Az, Az, Azrael, or Delta-6 now that I know, he, um, he's captured. And so I'm trying to save him and get my memory back. And so I'm in cahoots with this Kane dude who you've seen before. He's a pilot. Now the thing here is, what I'm analyzing here is I need to communicate with Kane to help him um, basically communicate him to tell him to do stuff. I already know what to do, so I'm just going to go through it um, robotically because I already know what to do because I want to illustrate something. Hey, Kane. What? Open the lid of your toilet, will you? Where is this leading? Please? Hey, Kane. What? Check inside the toilet. What are you looking for? Anything. I ripped out one of the pipes. <laughs> That's the most logical thing to do. Just rip out the pipe. Hey, Kane. What? Open the drain pipe towards me, will you? All right. Hey, Kane. What? Try giving me the pipe. All right. I slid it through. Okay, so this puzzle is done. Uh, the, the Kane's character no longer need to use him because I'm gonna take that pipe bust. I, I'm gonna explain later what what happened from here point from this point on. But what I want to discuss is what did you think about that whole interaction? This is what I got from it. First off, Kane was a complete. Uh, what's the word I want to use? He was a complete fake. Why? Okay, we're in a dire situation. And she's like, hey, Kane. And he's like, what? Why do you want to take the lid off? What's, what? Did we, he's kept, like, at questioning everything she, every command that he did. It's like, yo, you're in a, you're, you're trapped. Why would you put up an attitude? Why not just comply with the person who's trying to help you? To me, it just doesn't make sense. You're in no position to disobey or to question in this type of situation. So that kind of was, was weird. That kind of shook me out of the element. And the other thing is, they use the exact same voice um, dialogue, so I would say sound file, every time she said, hey, Kane. It was the exact same tone, everything. Hey, Kane. Hey, Kane. Hey, Kane. Hey, Kane. It would have been nice to break from the monotony to have just a couple more different intonations or just different sound, um, different, oh god, what's this word called? Yeah, intonations or level, so, uh, level of treble, whatever, <laughs> that's a freaking word. It would be nice to have that because I'm constantly having to communicate with this guy, Kane. So it would be like, hey, Kane, hey, Kane, or Kane, just something different, right? Then the other thing, he's being a complete douche, she is being completely nice. She's like, hey, slide that through, will ya? Like she's talking to a kid or she's just talking to her friend. Completely just, there is no, there is no intrapersonal communication going on. Or interpersonal. What's the word? Inter or intra? Intra is within yourself. Inter is within other people. Okay, interpersonal communication going on. They're not getting each other because... There is absolutely no um, semblance of her understand or of her, of her picking up on his on his. Um, God, I want to use the right word. I want to say douche. Douche is just such a eh, word. His unniceness to her desire to help to, to get out of this. So that was kind of like shook me from the from the element too. This is very interesting right here. <clears throat> I have an opportunity to do something. I can talk to this guy. Making sure you I hope you I can promise shake my wrist. Malfunction. Kick my feet. I can say, oh I'm gonna try to grab that. Can't do anything with it while I'm strapped down. To keep talking to this guy. Charlie, Potentially Charlie, help him Charlie. like help him um what? 
or convince him to help me. Besides, I did too. Until the director reactivated my current memory. In all truth, I was Matthias. You know, the game gives me this this false sense of hope Hard to believe, that I know. there's something I can do. You know? You see, after you so were there's like some so some gamers little... might be like, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm going to figure oh, out how to skip it. They have there there has to be a reason why they allow me to move around. What just happens to me? I think that's a cool design thing because I honestly think I don't think there is a way. A place for him to move around. I, I don't think so. So you're right. Are you there? I mean, I think that Kane. Um they just did that. Because but it gives me an idea of something that would be really interesting. Imagine actually giving the player an opportunity to escape. That's one thing about, that's one thing I've kind of, I've, I've alluded to that a couple of times, is it would be so amazing to somehow manage a storyline where the player, instead of just by simply giving the player different dialect cho choices, the player has, has opportunities to change the outcome of the game, not just simply to get a different ending, but to do something different complete one task a different way provide alternate ways to completing a task and create different endings I feel like this has been done but so far in my experience it has never been done in a way that's been really memorable to me it's simply been Oh, if you save this person, you will have an ending where she's now included in, in the video, or she helps you or something. But nothing where I feel like I, my unique approach to solving a puzzle or playing this game is the reason I'm experiencing this ending. There has to be a way to design um, dialogue choices, methods of of overcoming obstacles, solving problems, a way of designing it into this story-driven concept, story-driven type of game, where the player feels like they are expressing a unique approach to to this entire concept, and then then they they are rewarded with something that that mirrors them, mirrors this unique thing in the end, or just throughout the entire game They're like I solved this puzzle my way I feel really good about that people are not that complicated people are not that complicated you can summarize the various ways people play a game down to like couple personalities I mean magic the gathering they have that pretty they have like three different three standard personalities and and and, and they and they um develop every they develop all the all the cards for all the new expansions around these types of personalities you know so you can do that you can you can borrow that same concept to these type of games well okay instead of solving the problem this way let's develop three ways of solving the problem using each of the each of the type of personalities that are apparent in the, in, in the people that play point and click adventure games so that they everyone gets a unique way of of progressing in a the game. They feel like they are owning every aspect of the game. I think that'd be a beautiful thing to implement. That'd be an amazing and very gratifying from from point of view of the designer and also the point of view of the of the, of the gamer, of the player. In the name of Buddha Amen. Talk about a hard wall. Look at this. That is what you see there is the <laughs> that is the main bad guy right there that is the main bad guy what a hard wall that is there's like there's no dialogue you know there's just nothing I guess he talked enough they're like this guy talked enough
We're let's just like you have you have nothing to do. You can't. You have no option. You can do that. He's like I have nothing to say. To nothing him. to say to him. Okay, I'll kick him. Dead. <laughs> there's there's nothing. There's only one. There's only one option. One option and one option alone. All you can do is shoot him. That's it. Makes sense, but just incredibly hard wall. Just incredibly hard wall. I wouldn't know what to say. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to say. But I know how to touch her. Sayuri? Oh, he knows what to say suddenly. <laughs> can you hear me? Oh, he suddenly knows what to say. Weird. Sayuri! Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Oh, do you even know who you just killed? Let's... let's just get out of here. Can you... walk? I think so. Implosion imminent. Evacuate station immediately. Hold on, I'll get us out of here. say when these credits run out despite everything I thought the game just ends I'm not saying ends goes to main menu the game shuts down and you return to Windows now I think the reason for this is because I don't know reason but when you start this game they give you two options okay, here's one thing you can start more than more you can start more than one instance of this game so you can have like five of these games running at one time almost like it's browser based um, and when you start the game gives you an option of running it straight up or save running it. First configuration menu, then 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 saving that configuration, then running it. I, I've discussed this before, but I think that's the reason why this one shuts down and doesn't go to uh, the menu again. Because I'm playing this from the configuration save run option, not just from the straight um, play game option. Because I, from what I understand, there's there's I look at the achievements, and there's two, there's an achievement for playing the game, which I have, for finishing it, and there's an achievement for finishing it with commentary, but I don't think, I don't, I'm not given that option, of, I'm not given, I'm not able to unlock commentary because the game shuts down, and I think that's because I'm playing it through the first configuration, then save, one, save run model. So, I can't, I have to play the game again, and play it via the just straight play option, in order to unlock commentary mode, I think. Or maybe it's already unlocked, but... If that's the case, and that is a very weird... messed up thing. That should definitely... that was the, that was obviously... overlooked during... playtesting. <clears throat> but pretty amazing, this guy Joshua Nurnberger. You know? Designed, developed... wrote, wrote the entire game. That's... that's a feat right there. That is a feet. That's a that's a multiple feet. That's a foot. No. Feet is multiple foot. So that's a feet. Ooh. Look, it's gonna shut down. It's gonna shut down. It's gonna go right to the Windows menu. It's gonna go to the Windows menu. I'm suddenly gonna make a. 